Hey, how's it going my fellow gamers, and welcome to another Minecraft Survival episode. I'm still in 1.15 right now, and 1.16 just came out as of the time I'm recording this, but I have a few things I need to finish up before I update to 1.16. As you can see right now, I have a mule, and I don't know how mules work because I usually never use them. Wow, my frame rate is really low right now for some reason, but I can I have 15 slots in here, like a full inventory. I don't know if they work the same as llamas where you get a random amount of slots in your inventory for them, but this guy is like really fast and he's a really good jumper as well. So I really like him. If we head over here, you can see that I have done a little bit of stuff. I cleared out this area for my storage room or like my item hall where I will be placing all of the items I collect. I haven't finished it but I did quite a bit of work and to me it looks like one of those like airplane warehouses you know like where they build airplanes they have like these giant halls or something and then here I have a few like special cursed blocks right like I have double-headed pistons, I have a headless piston, I have like redstone that's like connecting to something that's not really there, I have this abomination, and then I have this stuff which is actually going to be gone during 1.16, so that's, it's nice to have it. If I come over here, where is it, right here, yeah. Over here I have a few like special items that are going to be unattainable in 1.16. So if you look over here, I have an uncraftable tipped arrow. I have firework stars that don't have like yellow ball or small ball. I have a written book that has like no data in it. Like if I take it and open it, invalid book tag. I have firework rockets that don't say like flight duration one or anything on them. So I don't know if I'm definitely going to put this and this up on the wall. I don't know about the other two things. If I hop over here, notice that I have been doing something with my villagers. I have a rail here. Let me put my back on. Oh yeah, these are for 1.16 when I go to the nether. But right now I have this like rail set up. Let's see. Where's my mine cards? Wait, where'd my mine cards go? I have to go fetch them. Alright, so I got my mine cards. Over here what I'm doing is transporting villagers, like mass amounts of villagers. Jeez, my frame rate is horrible right now. But what I'm doing, right, I'm transforming mass amounts of villagers to a remote location, because in 1.16 you're going to be able, or, or yeah, we're going to be able to do something very special with them. So if we come in here, we can see what what's going on. So I have this rail to bring them. Um, you're supposed to be in a minecart, mister. Get over here. There we go. That went really easy. So in the last episode, I was talking about making a hostile mob switch. And, well, this is for that. I'm bringing these villagers here. If I trade with them... Where's my rotten flesh? Oh no, okay. <laughs> I'm really well prepared for this, as you can tell. But in 1.16, if you trade with a villager and then convert it into a zombie villager, it will keep, it'll like still count as a hostile mob, and but it would, and it won't despawn, which is very good. So if I keep them loaded with a chunk loader, they will occupy the mob cap, and no other mo hostile mobs will spawn, which is pretty good. You know, what most people are going to be doing with the new 1.16 nether update is exploring the nether. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using my tunnel bore, like getting tons of diamonds. I also have to be very careful in here because ghasts like shooting me. I have a chicken jockey here, but he's going to get deleted with the new update because there's no way to bring him back to the overworld. So all I need to do is break the brewing stand, place it back down, he gets his profession. I trade with him so that he keeps his profession and then I like push him into the portal. Boop. 
okay and then that's it right so just I'm I just need one more villager after this and then I should be good I, I can bring a zombie over there um, after I update and before I update I'm going to clean up this mess I've already gone around to all my nether portals and taken down the overworld coordinates for them, so I'm going to make them in the nether when I update. I forgot to get set up, right? I just put the minecart in there. Alright, I go and then I can pop over here, push this. This is my counter. I need 70, um, what are they called? Zombie villagers. So I have 69 right now. This will be my last one. So if I go here, push the minecart, the villager gets in. And there's a gas over there. Uh-oh. Gotta be careful. Don't want him blowing up my stuff. Alright, this one. Push him in. Oh, there we go. And that's it. Okay, so I've gotten cleaned up. And now... It is time to enter the nether update. And here we are in the nether. Oh, and I spawn right in a crimson forest. Jeez, my uh, frame rate is really low now, especially without optifying. Okay, so I've gone and turned off my resource packs, but I'm still really lagging so much. I'll have to come here. Oh, you hear that? I have my sounds on, so hopefully you can hear the noises. But the first thing I'm going to do is get on top of the nether. Yeah, it's really lagging. I can't really do anything until I get, like, Optifine again. Now is this the highest? possible piece of bedrock. No, it's not. I actually don't remember the Y level of the top level or layer of bedrock. I think it's this. Alright, so to get on top of the nether, right, what I'm going to need to do is you just throw an ender pearl and then, like, yeah, okay, it was that. So, as you can see, I have a bunch of shulker boxes. Way more than I need. Uh, I can't even... It's horrible. I can't look in my shulker boxes anymore. Okay, I hope I made that the right size. Looks like the right size. So I'm gonna take this, and then I'm gonna light it. Right, let me check the Y level. 128. I'm gonna need to remember that. So I destroyed my other nether portal, which is why it came out over here. Ah, oh, it's so bad. I turned off, like, I turned everything to minimum. I still have the game at full screen. If I make it smaller, it would work, but, like, I don't want it. I don't know. If I come over here, turn on my F3 screen, and go up to... I don't know where I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it at the top of this hill. But if I go up to this 100... 28 and make another portal it should be bring me to the portal at the top of the nether actually I could just for now I'm just gonna build the portal I'll make it look good and make it accessible later here I'll just leave one corner undone all right and then if I go inside of this portal it should bring me to the portal on top of the nether Yes, it did. Look at that. Well, I'm just going to have to end it here, guys, because as you can see, I'm playing a slideshow right now, not really a game. You can't you can't really call it a game even. So, I have to call it here. I'm quite excited about this new update. I'm really excited about my mob switch so I can go and use the uh, tunnel bore without any any interruptions or any hassle but if you enjoyed guys leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video